Okay, this is uh, the same character. This is on Jono's base. Uh, in the far north, you can see the three waterfalls over there. You can see the kind of the tower castle that I built and the uh, ship, of course, uh, that I built along with it as well. So we're looking from across the water here, sort of, and I'll just right on up. It'll be kind of, it's kind of rough getting up here. So I might end up falling or getting attacked by a bear. Yeah, here comes that bear. do while I was trying to show you this, but this will work. Okay, there goes the bear. Okay, so coming up, you can see there's a couple people up there. She just put her bow away. There's another one up there. And like the other one is all male, this one is all female for no apparent reason. There's my slave master, and that's the gate that Kirk was totally assaulted in a uh, purge that I survived, but only very barely. And uh, this was the last gate that held. I came into here and we fought all through here and out into here. Eventually I had to jump over the fence to get into the water to escape death and then climb back up and finish the fight once I recovered. Here are my uh, saber tooths. You can see this is a raider saber tooth here. Uh, here's my lynxes <laughs> and jaguars. Uh, and. Uh, you can see I have a rock beast down there by that waterfall bridge crossing the first waterfall. Come up here, we got a shrine to Zath, a couple of uh, farming implements, and my wolves, uh, wolf pack. <laughs> uh, this is looking over the, the cliffs and the waterfall, of course. Here's the statue to Tyros. This all lights up at night, and I'll hopefully be able to show you it at night. Down here is my fishing area, central waterfall, Komodo dragon processing area and so forth. Uh, coming over here into the castle, you can see I've made doors that are tall enough all the way through that I can ride my horse from one end of the settlement to the other without dismounting. Here's the inside. Here's my demon dancer. You can see I've got workstations all around here, including some perk that you've never seen because of mods. I'll go upstairs first before I go out the other side. Okay, and here's some more workstations, the ones that aren't so commonly needed. Dining area, house cat. Uh, that's me kitty is his name. <laughs> and uh, some dining areas here, and porch area. You can kind of look over other parts of the base to the east. Okay, and then coming around here come up to the upper floor. You can see I've made them three high here, very large, airy floors. Got a glass roof, of course, along with the high gothic roof, map table, my bed, and so forth. Out here, of course, got the horn and uh, the tower that continues on up there. It's just ornamental. There's really no other purpose for it but to look cool. So I'll show it when it gets dark. I'll show you it from that mountain right over there. And let's come on back down. I think that this one also won't take the 10 minutes that the uh, other characters' bases took, just because these were built sooner. Okay, this is the front here. This is the front gatehouse. You can see I got maps on the walls here. And up top, I've got two defenders up here, uh, as you can see. So far, I've never been attacked from the rear, only from that gatehouse that we came in on. Here we go out front, you can see my golden lions, there's the main gate, the gatehouse. These are my pet areas, you'll probably see them running around. There's a deer, and a, uh, I think it's a wolf and a leopard or something. Here's my bears fishing in the river by the upper falls. You can see the upper falls flow down to the lower falls. These are the two, that's the middle one, the left one, the right one goes over that way. And then of course my over there you can see my my horse and my rhino over there and uh, this is coming up the back side see there's the, that area as well okay so to make it uh, more interesting let me see what I'm at here I'm at four and a half almost five minutes so let me come out here you can 
can see that starting to light up. There's the, the fjord like valley behind. It's really just a river valley, of course. It goes up to a source of black ice. Okay, I'm gonna jump. I'll swim over here to this ice. And I'll finish up by showing you the base from a distance. Okay, and I'll see if I can get up here. I think I can. I've done it before. You can kind of see it as I'm climbing up there. Okay. There's the ship. And there's the tower that I had to fight at. There's the uh, the left waterfall from this direction. Uh, let's see here. There's the right uh, center waterfall, the right waterfall over that way. And of course, the gothic like castle with its tower. And uh, of course, the moon is rising. So, uh, that's kind of it. I'll swim back across here. Uh, this side to show you how it looks more up close in the dark. And then I'll stop it. This is one of my, actually one of the, this, of the four that I've now recorded, this is the latest one that I've done. I'm working on one more with a different character that I'll show when I get that one done. But here it is at night, you can see it over there, pretty cool looking with the lights. Uh, coming over here, uh, there's the ship over there, the statue of Tyr here, which I think glows a pretty cool purple, looking up the valleys there, of course, and back into the castle here. So now we've made a full circle. And so I'll run my guy up the stairs to the top, to his bedroom, because to be honest, I don't really play him all that much anymore. And uh, if I can get up the stairs, I'll end it. All right, and there we are. Okay, now I'll end it, and I look forward to seeing both of you guys uh, on some of your bases too. All right.